Today I want to show you how I made my perfect headphone holder. So what were my own design choices making my own um, headphone holder if there are like thousand files out there which you can just print? There are some reasons uh, why I did that. First of all, I want to learn something new every day, so I try to make it myself. And I want to improve on the parts that I printed and uh, just make the perfect part for myself, of course. Some issues which I ran using headphone holders, which I printed from Thingiverse or from Pusa printers, I don't know where they were from, is that first of all, the design sometimes was just not good enough, not strong enough. Um, these upper brackets or lower brackets and these connection points were just too thin. And even if you print it in page G, which is a stiff material, these parts would bend, the parts would lose clamping force and therefore would be really loose on your desk, which I don't like. Also, these lower pieces, often the gap here was just too small to insert any cables. I, for now, have a wireless headphone, but I have this loading cable, it's just a USB cable, which I couldn't really insert um, on these upper parts. So I made this gap bigger to place the cable right here and it also can be easily removed this was really important for me. And the last and biggest issue was clamping force and the screw. Often these screws were really hard to thread in and also the clamping force sometimes wasn't good. It could also be partially, as mentioned before, due to the part itself losing clamping force because the overall design was just, yeah, kind of flawed. Here you can see my different versions which I actually printed and I went from a really thin gap because I had a thinner desk plate to a bigger gap as you can see. My desk now is about 1 inch or 24-25 centimeters thick and the issues I encountered were these small screws with the really thick diameter are really hard to screw in actually, you need a lot of force and also your thread once printed isn't looking uh, really good as you can see here on the top it's kind of curly because this is printed like mid-air with no supports and i really tend to avoid supports actually i don't like them so the threading experience was not so good then i went to a even thinner screw with more threads um, i was hoping to get yeah higher clamping forces, I don't really know why, um, which actually worked, worked quite well. Uh, I was quite satisfied with this result. Um, the thread in the inside were printed quite good and the threading was really okay. But then I encountered an issue on my own desk that I don't have so much space on the front because I have a USB card reader mounted under my desk. So I changed from both the same length on here to a version which has this piece cut off actually and therefore I tried to even reduce the size of uh, my screw um, in terms of diameter but also increased again the number of threads I don't really know why again I did that and then the screwing in was yeah, too difficult and also you have to screw a lot until you reach the point where you have enough clamping force. Then I just printed out the lower piece to start some iterations because I thought I have to do a lot of testing but actually on the first piece it already worked and my secret is that I printed the bracket, the inner thread um, or the outer thread with 100% scale and the screw actually is scaled down but not in all directions, the C direction is the same and XY is scaled down to 0.99% or 99% and therefore you have a really cool yeah, kind of um, experience or a smooth thread. Yeah, and this, this all led me kind of to my final design as said. Um, 
these points from my perspective for me for my use case are really suitable and really like the design it also is really stiff and sturdy i don't think that this will ever break of course you can break everything but to my needs as said it is perfect now i'm showing you how to mount the piece well it's quite easy you insert the screw and then you just put it on hold it on the top and screw the screw in until yeah you really literally can't anymore and then it's kind of yeah stiff and mounted to show you this i will um i think i will hang some weights on it just as a test i really want to hang some weights on it so i got this five kilogram plate attached to a belt and we will just smoothly hang it here and as you can see it's holding without any problem and the whole integrity is not really affected i really wouldn't apply too much more force i think 10 kilogram probably is the maximum and then it will fall off um, it could also be already at seven kilograms i just don't know but just as a yeah proof of concept um, five kilogram no problem and therefore i'm really happy with the result as said in the beginning you might ask yourself why i did actually design this one because there are so many files and prints out there i really try to increase my own skill set um, to learn new things i would encourage you to do the same do new things try new stuff out you will learn a lot you will gain a lot of experience which I did personally, I know a lot more about threading and screw sizes and stuff like that. I'm happy how it turned out and it worked really well. If you're interested in these files, then just leave a comment in the comment section below that I will upload them. And if you don't have a 3D printer or you want this specific version, you can buy it on my Etsy store. Just check the links in the description below. This part was printed in PETG from Dust Filament with three outlines and 20% infill. I wouldn't recommend using more infill. I think the number of outlines is the key fact for strength and stability of the part. The rest should be waste. Of course, you can go higher if you want to. If you want to have something really, 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 really sturdy, then this is okay. Um, I wouldn't print it in PLA. Use patchy or ABS or something which is just simply more rigid if you like the video and you actually learned something then please leave me a comment in the comment section below what you learned or what you want to learn in the future you can also leave a like you can subscribe to my channel if you want to i would really appreciate so that's it for today's video i want to thank you for watching have a nice day and goodbye